What's up, it's Norman Woods, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a heel flip today. So, first thing for learning a heel flip is you should be able to ollie. I'd say you should probably be able to shove it, and some of us learn kick flips first, some of us learn heel flips. I was a kick flip guy. To be honest, I didn't have a good heel flip until six or seven years ago, and that's out of 21 years of skating, so you do the math. I'd say go back, get your ollie good, if you don't already have it, learn how to do a shove it, and then come back. The thing I see a lot of people struggle with with heel flips is foot placement, and kind of the angle that your foot's gonna kick out at. Like, it's a really easy trick once you understand all of those parts. So let's go down to the board, have my keys here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So again, we divide the board into three sections. Back side, middle, front side, because I'm goofy footed, right? So the idea with a heel flip is, you're gonna start with your front foot in here. My foot's generally about here, and you're gonna kick this part of your heel at an angle. So from here, you wanna go off the edge of the board, and it's just gonna look like Really simple once you have the mechanics, you just have to get those nice and down. And drawing the spaces on your board really helps because whenever I'm doing a heel flip, I envision these blocks, backside, center, front side, and I also envision the angle that my foot is gonna kick at. So, crouching, coming up, popping, my foot's at this angle, this angle. And your back foot, again, you're gonna use, any of you guys who watched my kickflip video are gonna remember this. You're gonna use that ollie circle. That's about where the back foot should be. I don't advise you to put it on the tip of the board because that actually makes it harder for you to get the tail to the ground. This, in my experience, is the best spot for the ball of your foot. So, ball of your foot's here. Your front foot's going to be just behind the bolts right here. And you are going to kick out at this angle. Yeah. Obviously, everything else applies. So if you're coming from an alley, it's very important that you're in place. You crouch, you come up, you pop when you're on your way up, not when you've already risen. One more note is that your front foot motion is very important for the heel flip. You want to make sure that once the board comes up to this angle, you're kicking out because otherwise your heel's gonna raise above the board. You see a lot of people try heel flips and they raise their foot too late. So they're, miss they're missing the hook of the nose. The hook of the nose is what allows you to stabilize the board in the air. So out at an angle is really important. Let's talk about going off and going up. Let's pretend this crack on the ground is the beginning of your four stair. And those of you who watched my kickflip video are gonna remember, you wanna be popping here. So if you're going off, of the stairs which are here you want to be popping here and for going off the stairs it's generally the same as doing it on flat until you get to a high stair count you're just gonna make sure that you do not push your knees to the ground make sure that you pull your knees to your chest and leave them there and let gravity push you to the ground again let gravity push you to the ground you're not trying to push your legs to the floor to land the trick that's how a lot of people get injured I remember when I was learning to skate, I sprained my ankle quite often. And a lot of that had to do with being overzealous, wanting to get the trick before I was ready to get it and trying to push my feet to the ground. So when you do that, let's say you land with this foot on the nose. Well, since you've pushed your foot to the ground with so much force, that results in sprained ankles a lot of the time. And the same is true for landing on the tail. So you just wanna make sure that you catch the board, you keep your knees up here, 
and you allow yourself to hit the ground. Think of any Andrew Reynolds video part you've ever watched and look at his knees when he hits the ground. They're completely tough. That's because he mastered flipping, catching, and just waiting. You have to just let it happen. Oftentimes, heel flips are easier up obstacles than kick flips, and that has to do with the way that you're kicking away from yourself. Whereas you're trying to flick your ankle out for a kick flip with a heel flip, it's all kick. And so a lot of times, by the time your leg comes back in, you're already at the top of the stairs. So if you're trying to go up, I would recommend probably learning that with a heel flip more than a kick flip because something about the way the trick works is just easier. It just makes itself easier. 